the premier athlete has arrived. Byron, get ready to count abs. You might need to take the your shoes off. The contest is a tables match. In the score, the ECW Intercontinental Championship. Making his way to the ring. From Long Island, right New here. York, this is weighing in at athlete. 196 pounds, the premier athlete, Tony Nese. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight reasons why I'm the premier athlete. Eight reasons why I'm better than each and every one of you. We've been waiting all night for this, guys. It's tables match time. And if you think being slammed to the mat is excruciating, and it is, just wait until we see one of these competitors get driven through a table. A man who says he moves like a cruiserweight, but hits like a heavyweight. One of the most explosive superstars in the cruiserweight division. The future is incredibly bright for Tony Nese. You ready for a Lucha House party? Yeah, I am. Debuted at 16 years old. And his opponent, from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, weighing in at 175 pounds, Grand Metalik. The king of the ropes, Grand Metalik is here, baby. Grand Metalik, otherwise known as the king of the ropes, one of the most exciting superstars in the cruiserweight division as ugly as he is talented what you, uh, enough Corey come on here we go as we kick off this tables match this is savage, Cole. The human body wasn't designed to be thrown through furniture. has truly earned his nickname of the premier athlete since joining 205 Live. He's not only racked up some big wins, he's also maintaining the best physique in WWE. He looks a bit off his game here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Michael, you mentioned Nice's physique, and trust this uncrowned pose down champion over here. It's not easy to stay in shape on the road, but Nice somehow doesn't. And he reminds us every time he's on that ramp, fellas. He's counted so many abs on the way to the ring, he should start to bring an abacus. Oh! Suplex! 
This could be big. And his knee's showing some agility. Oh, nasty impact. Through Kofi Kingston's career, the exciting superstar has competed in several types of WWE matchups. It didn't take long for Kofi to get comfortable in the tables match environment. At 2011's TLC event, Kingston took on the Celtic warrior Sheamus in a tables match for the United States Championship. Kofi was impressive in the match as he combined defense with his unbelievable high-flying assaults. Man, what a slam! Byron, you spoke about Kofi Kingston's tables match against Sheamus at 2011's TLC event. Some people feel that match was one of the turning points for Kingston. That night, Kofi's usual fun-loving nature took a back seat to a more focused and offensively aggressive competitor. Kofi Kingston's focus was leaving TLC the new United States champion. And that approach paid off, Michael. Kofi seized opportunity when Sheamus made a rare mistake. He drilled the Celtic Warrior with the trouble in paradise kick, and that set up Kofi to fly from the top rope and put Sheamus right through the table to earn the United States Championship. One thing's for certain, Corey, Tony Nese has a certain air about him. Just his attitude. Walks around like he owns the place. And some slack, Cole. There's not really much Nice could do about it. He's from New York. There's no question that all New Yorkers have that attitude about him. He's not looking like himself here. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. On the topic of Tony Nese being a New Yorker, he is the latest in a long line of Long Islanders to find success in WWE. Of course, most notably, there's Mick Foley. And I guess we can't forget about Zack Ryder, who might be the only guy who takes more gym selfies than the premier athlete. It's a good thing Foley never takes gym selfies, so I guess it all evens out. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. And his knees showing some agility. It shouldn't be a shock that the Dudley boys were involved in one of the most intense tables matches we've seen in recent memory. At the 2015 TLC event, the Dudleys called on their extreme brothers Tommy Dreamer and Rhino to battle the Wyatt family in an eight-man elimination tables match. People were flying. Pump handle. Going power bomb. Game, set, match. This one is over. Oh, man, can Graham and Elite recover from this? The match of 2015's TLC event with the Dudleys, Tommy Dreamer and Rhino versus the Wyatts, was chaos from this set. Uh-oh. Slam with authority. Just when you thought he had this table match and its carnage is over. Introducing the table to a match always delivers in this business. Take a look. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. Here is your winner and new ECW Intercontinental Champion, the premier athlete, Tony Nese. And it looks like that table shattered into hundreds of little pieces. These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it out there. Great match. And I'll tell you, 